back in the shop finally. I know it's been a while. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I hurt my back and I was out of it for a little while. Uh, it was pretty serious, so I mean, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even walk. I couldn't even get out of bed. But uh, I'm getting better. Uh, I can at least walk around, get down here, and sit on a stool. So I've been coming down, doing a little bit of work to this. Uh, this is what gets me out of bed to get me moving. So. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, I mean, since the last time, uh, I think we were talking about the winch because the winch I got was too big. And then I got that, uh, bought another one of the three racing winches. It's a little bit smaller and uh, tore it all apart, painted it and then kind of weathered it. I wanted a, a red winch. I saw one on someone's video. They did a winch like that. And I'm like, that's too cool. I got to do that. So I did that, got some extra lights. I mean, I don't, I don't have any of the electronics done yet. Everything's getting wired in, but there's nothing's hooked up on the inside yet. Uh, just been dealing with the body, got the emblems on, door handles, wipers. Um, you know, on the back, I got these little protector bars on the sides and in the back, uh, the wiper in the back, a little shackle. Uh, I got a toe strap I'm going to strap on here and kind of wind it up and make it look pretty cool. But <clears throat> I got my windows in. I tinted them, put the windows in. The front windows on both sides. You know, on these Jeeps, the vent doesn't roll down. It stays there. Only this part rolls down. So I cut this part of the window out, you know, painted the trim, and then just put the vent in just to make it look a little more scale. But uh, roof rack, you know, pretty basic. But uh, mounting, dealing with mounting the body, lifting the hood, I came up with a little spring-loaded apparatus here I made where I can just pop the hood up and be able to lift it. So this makes it easier. I mean, you know, if you're out and you need to get in there, just, you know, you want to display it or whatever, you can pop the hood open. But uh, you couldn't do it with your finger. I mean, that magnet is strong, so you need something to help you you know, popping open. Uh, did that. Uh, mounting the body was an issue. I didn't even have a clue how I was going to mount the body. But uh, figured that out. With the bumper and the way everything sits, I screwed in, made these two little tabs in the front that slide right under the bumper. So it kind of clips in under the bumper. So the front's secured by the bumper. The back. The chassis was about three inches too short for the body. I mean, there was a big gap back here with nothing. So I was looking around online and I found that uh, RC four-wheel drive. I'm not going to be able to find the tag right now. The RC four-wheel drive uh, chassis extender and uh, winch mount for the rear. <clears throat> I'm not going to put a winch in the rear. But what it did was extend my chassis back. I had to do some trimming on it to uh, get it to work, but it sat right down on the bumper. So I trimmed this amount off just to get the body to sit down at the right, right height that I wanted. And then left enough room for a couple magnets, so I put a couple magnets in the back just for the body to hook to. And then the front, you know, just clips under the bumper. There's the front little clips that clip under the bumper. My little hood uh, spring thing. But all I did on the back was mount a magnet right on the bumper. And then on the chassis, you know, I cut, this is the extension. I put it on and then notched it out and then put that, that magnet right there. You could put a winch back there. I mean, there's plenty of room to put a winch, but I mean, I'm not gonna put a winch on the rear. I could, but I'm not going to. But uh, this was one of the biggest things for me to figure out. On the inside, like I said, I haven't done anything, but to help me when I do do the interior, I bought another one of these servo mounts and just mounted it over here just to give me kind of the same level surface on both sides. So when I start doing the interior, I'll have somewhere to maybe to attach it to. But by the looks of it, you know, these uh, brackets are gonna be the right height for the seat when you when you get it all said and done in there so it's going to be pretty close it should come out and look pretty good 
But uh, yeah, I still got, you know, some other scale goodies to put on there. I got the Knight's Custom Snorkel for the uh, XJ to go on there. Just some toe straps. I got my high lift jack, uh, a ARB fridge, you know, just for some scale items. But it's coming along pretty good. You know, it's, and like I said, I'm just glad to be back down here and being able to, you know, get some work done. But that's how she mounts in. But you can see the winch in there. Of course, I got LEDs. I got to do all the LEDs. I mean, I'm going to have three lights up front. Probably just brake lights in the back. I'm not going to go too crazy with, you know, the LEDs. I mean, I like to have some, but you know, nothing too crazy. I'll have my spare on mount up here. But it's, it's, it's coming along good. Like I said, it's still got some, you know, weathering to do and some more scale items, but <clears throat> I'm liking it. But uh, that's about it for now. Like I said, I just appreciate everyone hanging in there with me. I know I've been gone for a while, but I'm uh, feeling better getting back into it. And uh, just thank all my subscribers, viewers, commenters. Uh, it's just, this is what keeps me going right now. It's just great. So I appreciate it. I thank every one of you guys out there. So uh, that's about it for now. See you on the next one. Bye.